so this video will be jumping into Service Bulletin SB00043. It involves the um, AFMOS spar on the elevators. And what they found uh, was the skin has a potential to crack along, uh, along the AFMOS spar. Probably can't see it in frame. I'll put somewhere on the screen here what to look for. Obviously, mine is not cracked. Mine is off of the wall inside. It's never spent a day outside of its, in its life. Um, but just knowing that we have time right now, still waiting on the laser cut parts, um, results, and portal and whatnot. So have the time. I went ahead and knocked it out. So both of them are actually done. So I would say if you're planning on doing this um, all together, somewhere around six hours to get it done. So really not the hardest thing in the world to do. The reason why I did it, and I know a lot of people aren't going to be doing the service bulletin because it does give you the option just for checking for cracks. Uh, so in a painted aircraft, you probably would be more likely to see those cracks. Um, but we're not sure if we're going to be painting or wrapping. And I know vinyl wrap uh, would hide it. And if there's any portion of the airframe that uh, has a potential for cracks that could be hidden, I'd like to know, and uh, or at least address any service bulletins ahead of time. And again, it's uh, very rare occurrences of cracking. So my understanding is there's a lot of people who have up to a thousand hours on their RB10 or RB14 who don't see cracks. So um, was this necessary? I don't know, uh, but for someone who needs to be doing something at all times and working on something with the airplane, it was nice to get it done. Uh, a nice easy project to do. So anyway, we'll jump into the video here um, and uh, we'll get to it.
trust that this joint's not gonna fall apart, so I'm gonna make this a little bit stiffer, just put like a stick on it, a little more tape. Just don't wanna have this explode on me part way. Quick checking because I have Pro Seal uh, that is actively curing. I need it for the second one there. Um, but quick check in, it is definitely messier than I anticipated. Let me see if I can get this camera in a good location here. I'm struggling with lighting and focusing, but maybe you can see in there. I am going to have a little bit of cleanup work to do. I'm going to hold off for now and do cleanup after I do the next one, just in case. Um, in case that pro seal starts kicking off, I really want to be able to finish both of them. So, anyhow, they're a little bit messier. It's, it's honestly a little bit harder than I anticipated. When I did a dry run uh, with the tool originally, just with no pro seal in it, I thought, oh yeah, I'll just sweep left to right, do it for the manual. Uh, but it is a little bit messier. It's, it's kind of tricky getting around certain sections. Uh, there's closed off sections like this one here, uh, getting behind there if you come in from either side. So anyhow, I'm gonna pull this one off, put it to the side, get that one on here, and uh, I'm running out of battery here. So not sure how long this battery will last, uh, but we'll get the second one knocked out. Overall service bulletin went really well. Uh, very straightforward. I would say if you follow the directions uh, to the T, just do everything per the instructions, it will go very smoothly. Um, as far as working inside, it's tricky. Um, it wasn't, mine's honestly not the prettiest in the world. I definitely got nice fillets along the side, uh, but scraping up after the fact, scraping up as much tank seal as possible, it's hard to get it back down to the bare metal. So, anyway, you're never gonna see it. I, dug out as much as I could. I'm happy with how it turned out. So um, I guess the only gotchas, there's really, honestly no, no real gotchas with the, uh, the service one. The only thing I want to say word of caution is inventory your kit. Um, so I was, I think, six rivets short on the AD41 ABS rivets. So those are the rivets that close, those pop rivets that close out the leading edge. Um, I think I was about six short there. Luckily, I had, with the purchase of the service bulletin kit, I had already purchased another 50 of those rivets just to have on hand because I was out of them. So, uh, luckily I had enough there, but just inventory your kit. The other one that I missed in inventory is LP4-3. Should have had four of those rivets. Um, I had none. 
and only realized after the fact jumping into things. But again, luckily I had already on a previous order, ordered a bunch of extra of those um, LP4-3 rivets. So just inventory real well or order some extra rivets so you have them on hand. Uh, but honestly, that was really it. Uh, so again, happy with how it turned out. It'll give peace of mind going forward if we do choose to wrap the plane. I don't, still don't know what we're gonna do. Uh, but service bulletin's done, uh, so I'll go ahead and get these moved back inside the house, put back into storage, and we'll see what we can get, get ourselves into in the next video. Um, still, as far as laser cut parts go, we are still having uh, no information. So my understanding is they are testing a portal with a group of um, other builders who are making, I guess, giving it a shakedown. I don't know what they're doing. Making sure that the portal is going to work before it goes live for the masses to use. Um, so portal is still pending and the test results for laser cut parts are still pending. So today's date it is September 21st. So hopefully we have something new there. Yeah, I'm not sure what the next video will entail. Um, I definitely have some prep work I can do on the fuselage parts that I know I can use uh, that are, have blue protective film to punch parts. Uh, so I could jump into that or could jump into one-off other small projects. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, but if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in that next random video, whatever it is. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Adiós.